friends, it is Friday, and I've spent hours of my day going through legal information on music publishing, and my head is falling apart into liquid. And by my head, I mean my brain. I don't even know words anymore. So instead of tackling something heavy, I, I just want to like basically go nap and do nothing with my day, but I have a lot of things left to do. So anyway, that's the state I'm in. So I wanted to do something really light and fun and uh, kind of playful. So I found this app on my phone, which is just asking questions. It's like a game you can play with friends, like a question based game where you ask each other whatever random questions that the app decides to give you. So this is called um, Party Cues. I guess we'll see how it goes. There's a bunch of different categories. We could do like this or that. Do I like this or that better? You do deep questions with no right answers. You do fun questions, which is probably where I'm gonna lean because who doesn't want fun? But anyways, I'm just gonna, and they're random questions, so I haven't premeditated any of this. Let's see what, ha oh, and I can shuffle them. Should we do that? Should I, should I hit the shuffle button? I'm hitting the shuffle button. Party! What techno, how do I switch these? What technological advancement would you love to see in your lifetime? I would love to live forever. That is what I would like to see. This or that, fishing or hiking? Hiking, I am vegan. Deep, if you taxed a behavior to make the world a better place, but also to make a significant return, what behavior would you tax? This is, I, this is too much. This is too much, oh my goodness. So I'm, I'm profiting off of bad people being bad, basically is what this question is, is telling me. If you had to pay to be crappy, um, you know what? I'm gonna just go with the vegan thing. I'm taxing people for eating meat. I said it, don't kill me. Okay, this or that, Brad Pitt or Tom Cruise? Brad Pitt, come on, what kind of question is that? What's more important? This is a deep question. Passion or humility? Mm, humility, I feel like passion, well, that's a tough one. I guess that's why this is a deep question. If you're passionate but not humble, that is basically like, I don't know, 50% of all celebrities ever. If you're humble without passion, then you're just a really kind person who's, sitting on your couch. I don't know which is better. I really don't know which is better, you guys. I'm gonna move on. Fun. If you could read the minds of cats and dogs, how do you think their thoughts would be different? They would be very different because dogs would be thinking, I'm a big stupid dog. I don't like dogs, I'm sorry guys. There's gonna be a lot of apologies in this question session. Fun. If you could go on a date with any celebrity, who would it be? Ah, oh, toss up between Andy Samberg and Kit Harrington great reasons for either one. I know they're both in happy, committed relationships, but that's not part of the question. Another fun question other than their own, what alternate name do your friends look like they could have? You don't know my friends, that's a pointless question. Okay, party. Would you rather be unable to use search engines or unable to use social media? Search engines, come on! This is like, how many beautiful Google rabbit holes have I gone down in my lifetime that I just would never be able to go down if I was only using social media? This is an easy question. This or that, cats or dogs? We already covered this. I'm coming down pretty strong against dogs. They're so needy. Ah, chocolate or vanilla? Another easy question. I don't know why I went, ah, chocolate, of course. Everyone knows chocolate's better than vanilla. Let's see, I'm, I'm skipping all the ones that have to do with like close friends or dating. Uh, would you, oh, oh, I, I misread that. Ooh, I really misread that. It's not as uh, nasty as I thought it was gonna be. Would you rather the opposite sex ogle you or not look at you at all? You have the power to give other people superpowers, but the superpowers must be tomato related. What do you do? Tomato superpowers. So, I, I mean, the first thing that came to mind is like a, the like ketchup dispenser man, like he has the, or like a pasta sauce. So it's like out of your sleeve, you can shoot pasta sauce. So you never have to buy pasta sauce or ketchup. You just can always like have, you're like, you can easily create con condiments from your hands. I'm um, going with that. What do you prefer to do when you feel depressed? Be alone or talk to people? I act like I want to be alone, but I secretly want to be with people. If love were a robot that served you every day, what would the robot do? <laughs> that brings up all kinds of questions. Can, can robots really love? Can robots really provide love? I don't know. It'd probably like give me like head scratches and uh, listen to me talk all the time um, and 
I don't know. I'm just thinking about this in the context of a robot. It just feels really sad. Would you rather have your singing voice heal people physically or your hugs instantly put a thousand dollars in someone's bank accounts? I'd rather my voice heal people because I am more comfortable singing than I am hugging random strangers. Fun fact, my family is not a hugging family. That is something I've learned as I've aged. This or that, karaoke or trivia? Karaoke! Karaoke is like the best thing. Kara if you ever want to like take me out on a party night, it's karaoke, you guys. Magazines and publications come to you to interview you on a certain topic. What would you be the expert on? I'm not an expert on anything. Piano? Teaching? Piano teaching? That's the easy default answer. Uh, okay. There is this weird category called four. So every time it comes up, it gives you a question that has the number four in it. So what are four ways you like to relax? I like to read. I like to go for a walk. I like to hang out with my friends. And I like to watch Netflix or whatever streaming service that I'm happening to be using. Those are preferred relaxing methods. If you were a chess piece, what piece would you be? The queen who's all powerful and can take on any other piece, of course. What's one of the most important things you've learned in the last week that I don't like reading about music law? It's really tedious and it makes no sense and it hurts my brain. Okay, last one. This is gonna be the last one. I gotta cut myself off at some point. What would the world be like without money? Um, how is this a party question? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a complex question. I don't know. It'd be, uh, it'd be anarchy. I don't know. I like that we have a uh, universal currency. Um, I, I don't want this to be the last. I want a better last question. Uh, I want a better last question than that. If I were given, this is another money question. If I were given $1 million, would I save it, spend it, or give it away? Can I do like all of the above? I want to give some of it away to my friends so we can have like awesome adventures. Um, I guess I'm kind of spending it that way too. I would want to spend it on a house because having a nice house would be wonderful. 